Hey guys, it's Jeff with Dirt Wheels. We are at the Dirt Expo in Phoenix, Arizona. And right now we are talking to Tim at SDR Motorsports and taking a look at this new expedition from Polaris that is a very serious build. Tim, tell us a little bit about this machine. So we've got a 2023 Polaris Expedition North Star, and we've pretty much changed just about everything about it from head to toe. We repainted the plastics red, we put the HCR uh, long travel suspension on, we've got the SDI E-Click shocks for more adjustment with the shocks, Valor 35 inch tires, uh, Valor wheels with color match the beadlock rings. Up front we've got our new bumper for it. Um, it's a bumper bulkhead product, so the, the, the winch will actually bolt to a bulkhead behind here, and then we've got the protective cover uh, with the triple R lights and our grill. Um, inside, we've done a ton of stuff on the inside. Let me show you that. And yeah, when you open the door to this thing, you can tell this is not stock. <laughs> no, definitely not stock on, the, on that. So we made new floor mats for the front and had Blades Custom Decking do C-Deck C, C is what it's called, uh, for the, there, the doors. And then we partnered with MB, MB Motorsports to do um, seats for it. And one of the things we wanted was a low bolster seat on the side that makes it easier to get in and out of versus a regular UTV seat where it has a higher bolster for containment. So it makes it real easy to get in and out, kind of like a Jeep. Really comfortable for riders of all sizes too. Exactly. So it makes it, like I said, just makes it, especially shorter shorter passengers or drivers, makes it easier to get in and out. And you talked about the floor mats, and you've also got this on the doors too, which is put on here with adhesive, but it kind of doubles as sort of a soft touch thing to keep the Yeah, it keeps legs. vibrations down. Um, it's, it serves as a sound deadening, so a little bit quieter inside. You know, when the doors shut, they shut with a little more of a thud and less of a rattle. Yeah. Um, that's part of the reason why we did it kind of everywhere is to get that, that noise level down. Um, the stereo in, in the North Star, the, the stock JBL stereo sounds incredible. So yeah. with this, you can definitely tell even a little bit more of a difference. Yeah. So when we added the SSV works, our uh, switch works controller, <clears throat> And if you haven't checked that thing out, it's, the features of it are pretty amazing. And then we've got a dash piece that allows you to mount that or a GPS to it. Uh, Sparco steering wheel and shift knob. And that's, uh, that's the majority of the interior mods. We, we, we kept it kind of simple. In the back, what we did um, with them, partnering again with MB is just made a cover that goes over the stock seat so that it matches up with the, uh, the front seats. But that is just a cover. I thought that was a completely aftermarket seat. Nope. So and it, that, nice. that'll work also on the ADD version where the seat folds forward. Yeah. So um, then moving to the back, we've got our bed rack system um, with roto packs on this side, our max tracks on this side, um, spare tire level up here, um, triple R lights again, and then in the back in the bed. We've got a full blizzard box fridge here with pack outs. And we've got lots of different configurations of how you can do this. And we're working on a bunch more drawers and all kinds of different modular ways to do it for whatever you're going to be doing with it. We actually met up with a, a guy that does a lot of deer hunting here at the show. And he's going to come in next week and we're going to start talking about like what what kind of products would help the, him or his buddies when you're out hunting so to get you know what your you get the game back or get your gear out there yeah. so some bow you know some compound bow holders and things like that so, this is a fairly new rack system too that you just debuted yeah so this is our new, the new bed rack system and again it's modular so this piece here is an extender for if you're running like a 33 to 35 inch tire uh, or you can run it without it and keep all that space there um, we've got storage bags on the inside, um, so and then we're, we're going to have another extension that will go up and even out with the uh, roof rack on the top. So that way you would get a full, a full length roof rack. So you know, we're we're still we're still playing around with this platform. It's it's pretty new. Um, so we've got a ton of new things that we still want to continue to do for it. But these are. I think this is where it's going. This is they're 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 fun. Who do you see being the core buyer for a vehicle like this? Most of the people that we've talked to here at the show are, you know, people in their early, you know, late 40s, early 50s that are looking to okay, we've done Glamis, we've done, you know, all that stuff. 
we want to go up in the mountains, go trail riding, you know, go out for a couple of days. Um, that's really kind of who this is more targeted at. Guys that don't really want a full-size Jeep, um, you know, they, they want something that they can take into smaller areas um, or trailer behind their motorhome. Um, and uh, that's, that, that's more of the people we've been talking to. I got a whole lot of new electronic gadgetry on this machine. Did you have to boost your power output? So no. this one does come with a alternator and a full size battery. So all we did was switch it out to uh, an AGM battery from a lead acid battery, and we haven't had any issues. Very cool, and I'm just little details yeah. with things like this machine. Like this right. is very handy, especially if you're sitting mm -hmm. at you know a camp at night where you can pop this on, see what you're yep. doing. Yep. Yeah, and that, at night, especially, I mean, that thing will, will light up the whole campsite. Yeah, so very our, our plan is to do a canopy that will come out, uh, you know, a, uh, uh, an awning that will come out, basically. So you turn that on and it'll light up all inside. Wow. So then back here, we've got another one at night. It's just a push button. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah, and this is rechargeable, so you can actually take it out. Um, and if you have these pods, you can stick these pods kind of wherever you want and the same light will work wherever you take it. So hold it down and it turns off. So tell our readers where they'll be able to find these new products. That I, I heard you're getting ready to release this. Here yeah, pretty so quick. This, all this stuff is on our website now. That's sdrmotorsports.com. And we're building out um, a bunch more Expedition, Defender, Ranger type of products. Uh, that's going to be a real big focus for us in 2024 so you can check out the website there and we'll have most of this stuff on there the blizzard boxes and the pack outs and you know the, the whole thing and then we're also going to start doing uh builds for these for someone that wants one done a specific way you can bring us the car and we'll outfit it exactly how you want it yeah